I got this Canon 90 to uh, 300. The lens, the EF lens, this one, uh, something has a loose part, seems something broken, and also the zoom ring um, stuck at 100. So I open it to see what happens. As usual, the EF mount, four screw and two side ones, just take it off first time. Then uh, after that, flex the cable, take it out. Now the main circuit board is out. And the next just to uh, these two screw here just to take off this uh, the gear pack. So after remove these two little screw and the gear pack cannot come out because of the autofocus uh, this switch. There is a two pin here inside. Just push from inside, get it up. Autofocus switch. Ring is off. Now you can take off this uh, gear pack. The gear pack seems okay. I don't see any broken. Uh, By rotating, I don't see any uh, broken teeth here. I think this lens is uh, very similar to uh, another one of my lenses, 75 to, to 300. So, the, and after that, you have to take off this ring. But before you take off this ring, make sure you mark it. Because otherwise, uh, you lose uh, where uh, You see, I would just say this is 90. I will mark, give a mark here. And after that, I just use my uh, fingernails. See, there's a small. You see, and this one you can take it off. Next, just to remove the brush, because otherwise it will very easily get damaged. The next is to unhook this one uh, to uh, you need to use a little bit down force here just to take it up. So the next is just to uh, remove from the front with this one fully powered I mean zoom to the infinitive and uh, I think you need to uh, find the angle then eventually this one can come out see now it's come out then twist this one now everything is off this loose hook is also coming out let's take off this brush otherwise it get damaged Now it's good. Now this is the hook. You need to find the right angle just to take out this zoom barrel. Now we can see the inside. So we can see the problem of this lens is this one, this pin is coming out. As you can see this pin doesn't have any thread so it just have a, a little spring inside so uh, um, you just make sure if this one is inside uh, and uh, just using a little bit of force find the right place then uh, you just push in the pin will be uh, holding the pla place because of the friction ah I think this is the chip of this lens mm -hmm. no wonder it pop out after a certain amount of time Let's uh, put the lens back. So uh, I have some difficulty to put uh, the front element back. I think the main reason is this one. Uh, I need to further um, to take I this need out to uh, unlock these two. The front element to take out this one. 
and before I install this uh, barrel in. So now I take out uh, uh, this cap. Now with these two parts together, because there's a T here, three T's here, as to uh, go to uh, three uh, the inside thread. So you will find the place that you will go in. So then next is to pull these two parts and uh, you have to keep rotating the front element in order to uh, thread in the front. Now this one is fully threaded in and also uh, this one, the teeth has to come out from this dent. Now with this one fully in and uh, he's also in the right place. As you can see the menu zoom when he turns he's from the very end to the beginning. So that is uh, the menu ring, a uh, ring status brush. So now we install this, uh, uh, this status brush back. So uh, everything is good here so far. So the next is just to put the, the zoom barrel back. You only will have one angle, if you see here there's a T and this is here, that is the only place you can put in. Then after that you have to uh, twist it um, in order to find uh, the angle. So now, you see, now everything is back. So it's good. Um, you see the zoom, then we need to find out, yes, this is uh, exactly the place for the uh, the dent of the zoom. So now we need to uh, install the hook back. This one is a little bit tricky. You need to uh, maybe pull out a little bit. You see the pull out a little bit and uh, pull this one in. Then find the right places before you screw it. Okay. Okay, everything's good now. So uh, um, we pull back this. Uh, this cap and also uh, the front, the cap, the three screw here. Now everything's good. So uh, we further to install this brush back. This is for the zoom, the status of the zoom. Put the the gear. So this gear control has to be in this house. So and also don't forget to put this uh, flex cable back to this housing. All right. So everything's good. Then uh, put the two screw to fasten it. So give a quick test. You see, if you are put into manual, this one move freely. But if I put into auto. You can see I feel a lot of uh, friction because of the motor there. That means yeah, it's since good. I have the marking here. So uh, I can very easily pull it back. So now everything, uh, the circuits, uh, the main circuit board is also back. So uh, and also the final is just to put this one back. The window is to uh, See, put the window at here. That's good. So then, uh, put back, finally, put back the mount. So everything is back. Now, finally, I put this uh, switch to autofocus and uh, push this one back. Test it. Everything's good. So uh, give a test. Everything's fine. Menu zoom. Everything's so now good. everything put it back. So uh, I don't think this lens has any problem. So uh, it hunts. It focuses. No problem at all. So uh, okay. So this is looks like another 
easy fix uh, very similar to my uh, 75 to uh, 300 that Canon lenses um, so basically uh, something gets stuck inside and uh, you just disassemble it and reassemble it and uh, the lens becomes functional again so um, yeah okay so basically that's for today if you um, uh, leave comments or just um, or subscribe my channel that would be uh, much appreciated okay uh, thanks for watching my DIY uh, fix video.